fucking what? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! What do we got? What do we got? Alright, we're coming back to the warning. Yes, indeed, the warning fans feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Vlad, Luis Saldivar, and Francisco Granados. They all want to see me react to this song by the warning called Shattered Heart. Now, to the best of my knowledge, <laughs> I've never heard this song before. I don't believe I ever have. As always, though, if I start listening to the song and I go, oh, wait a second, I recognize that song, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by The Warning, and the video has 3,110 views. Mm, nah, it won't get you there. It's not going to get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What are you saying? You ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Shattered Heart live at the Whiskey A Go Go. Ah, the whiskey. I know it well. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully I'll never play there again. I'm not a fan of the whiskey. I'm sorry. I'm just not. Anyway, I mean, it's not, a, it's not a terrible venue. I've played worse, but it's not the best venue I've played at either. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. With the promises in the air That my God died without a care ah. Now I see my worst mistake I am out of chance to take You try to air for where's my <laughs> nice interaction. Nice. I like those accents. Do 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 bop 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 bop. Yeah, with the cymbal chokes. Really nice use of accents there, and, and great use of the cymbal chokes as well. Um. I'm digging the feel of this song. I'm digging the feel a lot. Um, more than that, though, the girls are really looking like they're having a good time up there. Uh, they're interacting with each other a little bit. Um, you know, Ale is being little Jean, strutting around, lurking, getting down low, coming back, leaning back, coming back down again, way down forward up at the front. Yeah. Yeah. she's She knows how to grab the attention, boy. Every chance I, every every time the camera shows her, I can't help it. My eyes are drawn to her because she's moving around so much. She's she's doing a great job of creating stage presence. So awesome job on her part. I saw Pal back there making some faces. That's good. Hey, listen, do what you gotta do to create energy, man. If all you can do is make faces, then make faces. That's fine. I got no problem with that. It's better than stand back. But it's listen. It's way better than sitting back there playing drums and looking like you're bored. So I would much rather have Pal making faces back there. Yes, absolutely, yes. Um, let's keep going. I have more, but let, let, let's keep going for right now. Whisper promises in the air About to drown in my despair Let me hear no bleeding. 
Yeah, sing it with her. Okay, pause. We're, we're, oh, no, no, no. We're going we're gonna to go back. We're gonna, no! I don't care. Hey, you can play that beat on all you want. I don't care. 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 Play it. Go ahead. Play it. Play it. Go ahead. Fine. Whatever. I don't care. It's my show. If I want to go back, we're going to go back. So, what's really getting me on this song is the pre-chorus. Danny's vocals on that pre-chorus are coming out strong, clear, on pitch. It's just fantastic. Love everything about the pre-chorus. The chorus, I see what they're trying to do. I, I, I and they're they're actually doing a really good job of it. Um with the with the, the split vocals with the harmonies. Um it's live. They're young. I know they're not quite up to snuff yet with where they're going to be in like 10 years. I get it. The vocal harmonies are a little off. They, if I'm being 100% honest, they are a little bit off. But it sounds good. It, it's not It's not so off that it sounds bad. They're just not locked in. And that's going to come with time. And that's going to come with practice. And the, it's going to get... I know. Listen... If they were to do this exact same song, when, when was this song done? January of 2020. If I was to hear them do this song now, I mean, they've been in lockdown with the rest of us. They've had nothing to do but practice. So uh, I'll bet you it sounds even better now. I'll bet you it does. You know, so I am taking that into consideration, of course. But I mean, there's no denying the fact that the song, that the harmonies are a little off, but it still sounds good. It's not so off that it sounds bad. Um, all, all I'm saying is give him some time with this. Give it some time and I'll get you. It'll be even tighter. Um, but Danny's vocals on that pre-chorus are fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'm loving the pre-chorus. All right. Let's see Danny lead this crowd. Let's see how she's going to do it. All right. Lead him, Danny. Do it. All right, buddy. Sing it with me. No, no, no. We're going to pause. We're going to pause. We're going to go back. Listen to the accents here. Way to end the phrase with some great accent work. Right here. Nice. Good ending, good solid ending. Thank you very much. Okay, so I guess it's not that song. I guess it's not. Hey! <laughs> hey, you know what? 
it's happened to all of us. Don't worry, pal. Uh, sign her up, sign her up, sign her up. Sign her up, sign her up, sign her up. Yeah. Hey, you know what? It happens to the best of us, pal. Don't feel bad. <laughs> hey, it's okay. Look, here's the important thing. Here's the important thing. Did she screw up there? Yeah, she screwed up. You know what she did, though? Turn it right around, turn it into a joke. Hey, why not? Make it fun. Hey, if you can't make fun of yourself, then you're no fun, okay? That's fine. I What I don't like is when people screw up and they go, ah, and they throw things and they kick over the drums and I, I quit. I get, that's it. Show's over. But no, don't do that. Look, you messed up. It's okay. Make fun of it. Laugh at it. Have a good time with it. Get the crowd to laugh with you and then move on. Nothing wrong with that at all. It's happened to all of us. I could tell you horror stories. <laughs> it's happened to all of us. Trust me. It has. That was good. No, that, that was good. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. Well, there you go, folks. That was The Warning with Shattered Heart. This was a request from Vlad, Luis Salvador, or Saldivar, sorry, Luis Saldivar, and Francisco Granados. Okay. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that an 8.8. .8. Yep, 8.8. .8. I feel good with that score. Let me tell you why. Why? <laughs> There were some really good things happening in this song. Some really great things. Um, the song itself had a great feel. It had a great feel. Great tempo. Great feel. All set up by Pow. Uh, the drummer was doing a fantastic job of setting the feel of the song. Letting everybody know that this is the, what we're going to be feeling. And this is how we're going to keep going. So, great way to start off with a great feel. Uh, solid drumming to boot. Uh, right on time, uh, you know, I know, I know she uses a metronome. Look, I don't care. I don't care if she uses a metronome. I care that the drummer plays on time, okay? I would much rather have a drummer with in-ears in or headbuds or earbuds or headphones or whatever, having a metronome with the click and have her play on time. I would much rather have that than some drummer that says, oh, I can, I am a human metronome. I, I don't need any of that stuff. I can do, and then they cannot hold a beat they cannot hold the time they cannot hold the tempo to save their lives i would much rather play with a drummer who plays with the, with a click absolutely i'll take that all day long so i am not criticizing pal whatsoever for using a click i am complimenting her for having the foresight to do so and being the consummate professional to not let ego get in the way and be able to be an effective drummer so kudos to pal for that uh, on top of it, she plays very tastefully. Some great, great accented subdivisions. Fantastic job on her part. Um, Ale, Little Jean, I know some people don't like Kiss. Listen, you don't have to like Kiss, okay? But to be perfectly honest with you, yeah, it's perfectly fine if you don't like them. Uh, there's a lot about Kiss I don't like either. But there is no denying that... Ale's movements and motions and her way of moving around the stage and the lurking and the getting down and you know the squatting down and coming back up, squatting down, coming back up, leaning back, coming forward and going way back down low again. That is all classic Gene Simmons moves from the late to from the mid to late 70s. There is no denying it, okay? I was actually watching some footage of Kiss from the late from like the mid 70s. I think it was during the Destroyer tour. Uh it was from uh it was from Texas. Uh, it was from uh, Lagos in Texas, I believe. And uh, I was watching Gene. I, I found myself going, oh, my God, he looks just like Ale. Well, there you go. There's your proof. <laughs> that, you know, but she does a fantastic job of bringing energy to the stage. She does a great job of drawing attention to herself, which is funny because I know from what I've been hurt, from what I've been told by everybody, is she doesn't like the spotlight. She doesn't like the attention. Wrong. I disagree. <laughs> she may not like to sing lead. She may not like having cameras on her, but she loves being on stage. It's very obvious she does. So she does it very naturally. She does it with great execution. I cannot deny that she is a perfect. Former. She knows how to perform on stage. And on top of that, her bass playing is super solid. I mean, it you, 
she is the whole package. She really is the total package. And I'm telling you, she's already doing a great job. She already is. Can you imagine what she's going to be like in 10 years? She's going to be frightening. Like, absolutely frightening how she dominates that stage. Danny's vocals on this and Danny's guitar work on this. Let, let, let's start with the guitar work. The, the guitar work's super solid. Uh, some great guitar playing on this. Um, nothing that really stood out as being amazing, but nothing stood out as being bad either. I mean, it was just super solid across the board. Very fitting to the song, very conducive to the song. Um, her vocal work is where it really stood out for me personally. Um, I loved her vocals, especially on that pre-chorus where it was just her singing clean, going up in those peaks and valleys. Fantastic work uh, on the vocals on those, on those pre-choruses. Now, on the choruses, like I said before, there were some issues with the harmonies on the choruses. They were a little bit out, but they weren't so far out that it sounded bad. It, it was just intonational, it just, just from an intonal, uh, from an intonational standpoint, from, from an intonation standpoint, I should say. Uh, it was a little out, and to me, it sounded like the lower voice was a little flat, just a little, not a lot. Now, like I said, I don't know how long they've been playing that song for, and playing live is always tricky, okay? So, and the more harmonies you do live, the harder it is. So if you got three people singing live, it's tough. It is not easy. I've been in bands where we've had three people, even four people doing harmonies at once. The more people you add in, the easier it is for, so, for one person to be off. And there was one person off. I don't know who it was. I don't know if it was Ale or I don't know if it was Pow. It was one of the two. But whoever had the lower note, the lowest note was a little flat. Now, having said that, did that make it sound bad? No, it didn't make it sound bad. It was noticeable, but it wasn't like, oh, God, ew, ah. It wasn't that. It was just, oh, it's a little off. It's a little off. Is that a bad thing? I mean, you, you never want to be singing out of key, obviously. But look, if you're going to sing out of key, I'd rather have you sing out of key with a little bit, just a little bit, than a lot, you know, where it's to the point where it's bad. And like I said, these girls are young. Give them time. I guarantee you, in not even 10 years, in, I, I'd give it like maybe a year. I'll bet you anything if they were to do that song now live, because they've been in quarantine, they've probably been pressing their, their, their butts off. I'll bet you anything, they could probably nail it now. So... You know, give it time, time and practice. It will, it will come around. I promise. Now, did that affect the score? It did. I mean, it, it, it brought. It, but here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. We have a little bit of a boomerang here. Did that bring the score down a little bit? Yeah, it did bring the score down a little bit. But the score came right back up again because at the ending, Pal messed up and she started the wrong song. Now, when you start a, a song and it's not the right song, when you screw up like that. There's two ways you can go. You can go, well, there's actually three ways. <laughs> third way is kind of boring. Okay, let, let's start with the third way. The, okay, one way you could do it is you could just stop, pretend like nothing happened, and then start the right song. That's awkward. That's really awkward. That's like, wait a minute, what just happened there? You leave the crowd kind of like guessing, like, wait a minute, was that intentional? Did they mess up? What, what the heck happened there? That's one way to do it. I don't like that way. Option number two, you could take the, uh, what I like to call the poison approach, where when poison screws up on stage, and I've heard horror stories, I, I've never seen it, but I've heard horror stories from my drummer, because uh, he's a big poison fan. He has told me horror stories, and he said, we will never do this, where they screw up the beginning of a song, and the next thing you know, one of them's throwing a bass, or one of them's throwing a guitar, or the guitar player's picking up a snare, he's throwing it at the, at the lead singer, or whatever. The temper tantrum. Can't do that. You cannot do that and call yourself a professional. No professional musician in their right mind would ever do that, because it's unprofessional. From a standpoint of, one, you could potentially hurt someone, okay? Throwing a guitar, throwing a bass, throwing a snare, throwing whatever, you can hurt someone, either one of your bandmates, or worse, that snare or that guitar could ricochet, fly into the crowd, hit someone in the crowd, now you have a lawsuit on your hands. Not a good thing to do. 
Not only that, it looks bad. It looks bad when you're up on stage as a band, you're supposed to be a cohesive unit, and you're sitting there arguing and yelling at each other over a mess up. Get over it and move on. Move on to the show. That's option two. Option three, this is the best option in my opinion, and this is what the girls did. They started the song, Powell started the song, she started to sing, she looked around, realized she was messed up, and she said, ha ha, uh, this isn't the right song, is it? Okay, well, that's okay. Hey, you know what? It happened. She turned around and she turned it into a joke, and she made it fun. It was a fun moment. It's moments like this that I love going to live shows. It's not because I enjoy watching people mess up. I enjoy watching how they recover. It's not how many times you get knocked down. It's how many times you get up and more importantly, how you get up. And she did a great job of recovering. She did. And kudos to Danny and Ale for following along and just laughing it off and saying, hey, you know what? It happens. It happens. Hey, it's okay. We're going to get right back into it now. They could not have handled that situation better. And what's so impressive about that to me is they're, again, youngsters. They're kids. And they're doing that already. They're already acting like professionals. So did the score go down a little bit because of the vocal harmonies? Yeah, they did. But you know what? Because they acted so professionally, it went right back up again to where it was in 8.8, which is a great score. So, 8.8 .8, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.